Hey, welcome back, friends. Today I've got Ashley from Ember Recreational Vehicles, and these really caught my eye here at the Tampa Show. They've got some incredible features that a lot of you guys that are going off the grid a little bit are looking for. I'm going to pass this video off mainly to Ashley. I'll be behind the camera. You ready to go? I'm ready. All right, let's do this. Okay, friends, like I said, I'm behind the camera. There's a lot of features to this unit that we, we don't see normally. So Ashley's gonna take us through, uh, I'll just hand it off to you. Sure. Go. So our thing at Ember is off-road, off-grid. We wanted to do everything we could from the factory to get you off-road easier and off-grid longer. So I'll start in the front. Um, we started with a new jack. It's called the a flat jack. It is electric. Um, so it leaves the A-frame open. And because of that open A-frame, we were able to put this gearbox here. Inside of the gearbox, we have your LP storage on this side. And on the other side of the gearbox, you have additional storage. Typically, um, you might want to store your battery here for our standard solar package. That's big storage, yeah. Um, or any other gear that you want to take with you. Cool. Also on the front here, we did what we're calling the Versa coupler hitching system. So the coupler is able to move up and down in the C channel there so that it can fit varying heights of tow vehicles. You could also remove the coupler completely if you have your own specialty hitch that you would like to use. So also at Ember, our build is completely composite. We are five-sided laminated aluminum structure with composite materials. Here I'm holding a piece of our floor, which is also composite. It's made by a company called Ridge. They are out of Ohio, and this material is called Transcore, and this goes in all of our units for the floor. The walls are, like I said, laminated aluminum, and we have Asdell on the outside as well as Asdell on the inside. So again, fully composite, no wood in our build, except for on the inside. When we go in there, you'll see in the cabinetry and the furniture. Um, also, cool. on this unit, we have equipped it with our Max Solar package. Now, this so is an option, right? This is an option. Okay. This is an upgraded option, the Max Solar. So here you can see the, the battery monitor and the inverter um, up top. On the max solar package there are three panels 190 watts each for a total of 570 watts you also get with the max solar a uh, two battle born lithium ion batteries you can nice. yeah you have the addition or the option to add an additional two batteries to that as well if you really want to extend your battery power very cool and i'll be linking all this in the description box uh below so you can if you want to get in more in depth with some of this and some of the options that Ember offers. Right. You can definitely check it out there. You want to go check out the suspension? Absolutely. Let's cool, take a look at Let's the suspension. Let's do it. So now we are looking at our independent suspension, which is really where we started at Ember when we were in the design phase. We wanted to give you a um, independent suspension so that you could go off-road very easily. This is the only one on the market like this today in America, on the conventional space in the RV world. Um, it has dual shocks, coil spring, fantastic fantastic uh, off-road suspension for you. We paired that with a box tube steel frame chassis for extra strength and then as well as our Goodyear American-made off-road tires. Another cool feature on the exterior is this new parking brake. So when you get to your campsite and you're ready to set in for the night, you just pull it tight, locks the wheel in, comes with a pin, to really add extra security there, that's not moving. I love that. And guys, I'm going to tell you that I stopped at this booth because of the suspension, and then I saw the parking brake, and I said, okay, I need to investigate these a little further. So you can tell there's a lot of cool features on this rig that the rest of the industry, industry could really learn from. All right, let's keep going. All right. So this particular model is our 191 MDB. So on the inside, it's a Murphy bed double bunk, which means on the outside, we were able to give you this outside kitchen. The griddle is optional but it does come with a refrigerator. Nice, and I love the slides. These are super smooth to, to operate. And you just heard her talk about the bunks. That's why we're doing this particular model. A lot of you guys are families, and uh, we wanted to do a bunk model. So yeah, we're gonna go inside in just a minute, but we've got a little bit more to check out here on the outside. So now we're looking at the back of the 191 MDB. I'll start first with this um, spare tire. We give you the exact same tire that already comes on your on your wheel or on your coach. And wheel. And wheel. Yeah. Um, 
This hitch down here is a 300 pound vertical hitch, so you can add a bike rack or something along those lines. And then we give you this nice, what we call a kayak door. You can slide your gear in here. On the inside, I'll show you this bunk lifts up, so you have plenty of room. We did test it out, and with the slide closed on this unit, you can still fit a 13-foot kayak through nice. that door while you travel. Yeah, I'm glad you spoke to about when the slide is closed, because yes. there's a lot of questions there. Yep. Tell us about this ladder. So the ladder is also great. It is an option, but is it, it is a telescoping ladder, so it can easily come off. There's a bracket up there, and then it telescopes down. It, it gets... It gets really, you know, compact, so you can right. easily take it with you. And then we also put a bracket on the off-door side, too, so you have two different spots that you can hook the ladder on and get to the roof if you need access. I'm just pumped you guys put the brackets up there. That's genius. Okay, guys, Ashley's going to take us through the inside. Uh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, come on in. So, again, this is a Murphy bed bunkhouse model. So here in the front, we have our Murphy bed. And one of my challenges to the team back home was to clean up the Murphy bed and how it looked and make it simple. So we did, we came up with a easy one-handed latch system. Um, sofa folds down, bed comes down, and you get inside a true residential queen. Nice. So that's pretty exciting. Up top, we added our stargazer skylight. We're really excited about that. Um, it does have an integrated screen and a shade I so love it. that's not a problem there we are using european windows so they're dual print dual pane acrylics so you get a nice thermal break there and then you have that integrated screen and shade so here we have a legless dinette but this tabletop does come down it's on a gas strut and then you could uh lay there spread out your dinette cushions and you get some extra sleeping space if right. you need it and big storage underneath there. big storage yep um, under this one, this one hits the wheel well, but you can uh, okay. see the Transcore floor if you want to take a peek at that inside oh, yeah, okay, there. Cool. Yeah. Um, in our back here, we have a nice bathroom. And I'm going to interrupt house. you, actually, right here. Yeah. This bathroom is huge for a unit of this size. So I'm 6'2", so I'm almost 6'2". I, I fit there perfectly. I don't want to TMI too much. But that, that shower's a nice size, nice and tall, shaded window. But I just wanted to, I just wanted to make that point because this is a very large. Yeah, we were pretty this, excited you know, with yeah. on this size of a of a coach right. that we were able to get that exactly. size. Exactly. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, you're, you're good. You're that. good. Interrupt away. So then in the back here we got our double bunks. There are USB ports and lights in each of them so that the kids can charge their iPads and their games, whatever they want. This is the bunk that I was talking about on the outside that flips up. So it's again really simple, one-handed operation. All right, so we had to pause for a second. Mr. Polka's coming back. <laughs> All right, now that Mr. Polka has gone and made his pass, we'll continue with the bunk. Sorry about that, Ashley. No worries. So, yeah, again, this bunk folds up. Easily slide your gear in through that back kayak door. Again, when the slide out is in, you're able to fit a 13-foot kayak in here while you travel. So that's nice. some nice space. But one-handed operation there. Pull it back down. Flip the bunk mat back over, and now you can go to bed. Very cool. So now we're looking at the kitchen in this model, and we give you a 12 full 8 cubic foot refrigerator here, a nice two burner cooktop here. We do have optional microwave, and then here you get a nice deep stainless steel sink with a cover for added countertop space when you need it. So we're back on the outside and just coming from the kitchen and talking about the sink, I wanted to talk about the hot water system that we have on board. We are using the Truma Combi Eco Plus. That is a combination water heater furnace. Few reasons why we love it. One, it is compact. So the form factor is great, especially in a small coach, doesn't take up a lot of space. It also has an extremely low warranty rate, which is something that we at Ember really love. We love finding the parts and pieces to build our units that are gonna give you as little to no hassle as possible. Right, and I will link the more information about the Truma in the description box below. You guys can check that out. It's actually foreign to me. I, it, this will be new, so I'm gonna do some research on it too. It sounds very, very interesting. It's a great, very efficient unit unit that we think that our customers are really going to fall in love with. Here we're looking at the Nautilus uh, hookup system. So our fresh water tank is 55 gallons. So if you're going to go off grid, we know that you're going to need as much fresh water as you can get. So we did that. You have your hot cold hook up there. We also give you this nice brass fitting here so that when you pull your hose up, you don't have to kink it in or go by your own brass fitting. Right. Um, we also have an extra solar port here if you have any of those um, foldable solar panels that you would like to bring along as well. 
And there we have some nice pass-through storage. Yeah, I noticed you guys have tire link. So this, uh, it doesn't include tire link, but it's already wired, hardwired for it. So if you wanted to get a tire, tire pressure monitoring system from tire link, you just put the monitor there and then you'd screw on the pressure monitors back there and you'd be set. Cool, I love this pass-through, it's good. And the auto system on a unit this size is, is pretty crazy. All right, get close to the end, guys. It's been a great tour. We want to talk about this exoskeleton right quick, and I'm, again, I'm going to let Ashley have it. Yeah, so underneath here, uh, we started with the Eternabon tape. Um, that is how we join our sidewalls together. And then we realized that uh, we needed a stronger, wider trim to go over that Eternabon tape. So we came up with what we're calling our exoskeleton, and it is all over the coach. So not only does it make our coaches look really cool, but it also adds some strength, which we so there's one more thing I wanted to talk about today, and that is our Easy As One Two Three warranty. With an Ember product, you get a one-time transfer, a two-year hitch to bumper warranty, and a three-year limited structural warranty. We wanted to give you the peace of mind that you deserve when you take an Ember out on all of your adventures. Ashley, thank you so much. This thank has been you. a great yes, tour. Awesome. I appreciate it. I knew I wouldn't be able to do it justice, and I think you did a wonderful job. Guys, I'll, again, I will link everything in the description box below. And yeah, make sure to go check out an Ember RV several other floor plans as you can see here at the show they've got some smaller units over here that are teardrop size uh yeah i just but i like this one because it was a bunkhouse that would fit our family thanks again Ashley. Yeah, thank you